Hi everybody, it's Trisha Knitting Lady. I taped the whole video and then I just accidentally deleted it. So I'm not gonna be very long. I have my Raina short I made um, for Ireland, not for Ireland, for St. Patrick's Day, it's all green. I made this a while ago. And uh, Raina is a common shaw. It's on Ravelry, you can get it for free. No, Yarn is knitting fever. So let me tell you a quick thing about St. Patrick. And uh, I, like I said, it's going to be short. Now I'm going to be, I have to change into work clothes. Well, my work shirt soon. I'm really run out of time. I'm really, I don't feel that great today. I think, why am I doing a video? I'm trying to rush you a video, but whatever. I have to change into my work shirt, which is blue, and that's the original color associated with St. Patrick's Day. It was the original color of the Order of St. Patrick. It was a sky blue called St. Patrick's Blue. But the link between green and Ireland originated during the Irish Rebellion of 1798, where clover began a symbol of nationalism. People wear the clo clover on their labels. It, people began wearing green as an expression of their Irish pride. So the man known as St. Patrick, that was his, wasn't his original name. He was born in the fourth century. His parents were Roman and they lived in either Wales or Scotland. He was kidnapped as a teenager, brought over to Ireland and sold into slavery. He escaped back to England, became a priest, took on the name Patrick, and he returned to Ireland to convert the Irish Celtic pagans Christianity. His real name was Maywin, M-A-E-W-Y-N, Sukin, S-U-C-C-A-T. So, like they said, he was probably Welsh or Scottish. I think that's more a Welsh name, I'm not sure. So, you remember the legend about St. Patrick drove all the snakes into the Irish Sea? And the reason was is because they attacked him during a 40-day feast. Well, actually, there are no snakes in Ireland. So I looked that up. Why are there no snakes in Ireland? The explanation wasn't that great. They said there are no snakes on islands. So there are no snakes on Hawaii, no snakes in Ireland, no snakes in Iceland. And I forget what other countries, I didn't write down all the, the island countries. There weren't that many, which um, I didn't think was a good explanation. But then I looked further. In the beginning, all, we, it was just one big land mass. And then it broke off in different countries, different land masses, islands, etc. Then the Ice Age came, and whatever snakes were on those by those uh, islands, the, the snakes did not survive. So that's why there's no snakes in Ireland, and it wasn't because of St. Patrick. Um, St. Patrick's Day Parade began in the United States. Actually, there are more Irish people here, or people of Irish descent, than there are in Ireland. 32 million people claim partial or full ancestry from Ireland compared to 4.3 million people living in Ireland. Now, I'm mostly Irish. Um, three quarters, I would say almost three quarters. The remaining quarter is German. And that was my grandfather who was Jewish. Um, I have a little English in there, but that's on my mother's side. They came from Manchester, England, but they went to Ireland. So pubs in Ireland used to be closed on St. Patrick's Day due to the religious reasons. But St. Patrick's Day became a national holiday in 1970, and then the pubs opened to celebrate. So traditional dish associated with St. Patrick's Day in the United States, not in Ireland, is corned beef and cabbage. Cabbage is a common dish in Ireland, but not corned beef. The uh, original 
Irish immigrants that came here had it just from cured pork because corned beef is more accessible. So that's why it became corned beef. And I had read somewhere else a while ago that it was because of the Jewish merchant, merchants. They had introduced corned beef. And you know, you go to a Jewish deli, you get corned beef, pastrami, whatever. So I'm going to put this video out real quick. <laughs> Cause like I said, I gotta start work. I really do things last minute, don't I? So everybody have a good St. Patrick's Day. Aaron, go bra, celebrate. Bye now.